I have felt the Lord's heart very strongly for many recently who are stepping out into uncharted territory. Stepping out in ways that even seems against the grain, and it truly is a place of following in the footsteps of Jesus into where he is leading, and there is a lot of leaving behind happening. I was overcome by the heart of the Lord for these ones, as he spoke, your obedience to my way is catapulting you into your greatest day. The cost may be big. The step may be huge. The readjusting and realigning may stir up feelings of fear, but God is leading you into your greatest day with him. The eyes of the Lord are roaming the earth looking for those who will follow him where he is going. They are living their lives not trying to fit Jesus into their own agenda, but they are living laid down, and will follow wherever the Spirit leads. The Lord is looking for those who are all iron, with his way, especially when his way is not the popular way, or the usually done way. These ones are not living for the applause of man, they are living before the audience of one, and no matter what it costs, they will follow him. For the cost is not of issue, because they are so in love with Jesus, and to see his name, and his glory lifted high and revealed in the earth. They are ones that do not worship revival, all signs and wonders, but they follow and worship the reviver and seek not for their own name to be glorified or lifted high, and when making room, for him to step in looks different, or unpopular, they follow relentlessly in obedience to him, and not bow to the fear of man. There is a test upon the body of Christ right now whether we will follow in the footsteps of Jesus no matter what it looks like, because we are in love with him, and want his way no matter what. It's all about Jesus. It's all about his name being glorified, and the gospel going forth, and many to come to know him. There is another shaking coming where it will be revealed where allegiances lie. There is another shaking coming that will bring a separation between those who follow in his way and those who are trying to fit Jesus into their agenda. He is coming. Psalm 24 9 He is coming in a way we have never seen. There is a tidal wave coming of his glory and his majesty like nothing we have ever seen before and right now the Lord is making adjustments. He is redefining. He is changing some things and obedience to his ways is making room for his glory. I heard the Lord say, The move of my spirit will leave you face down. The glory and revealing of his majesty that is going to fall in places where room is being made for the Lord to do what he wants to do, and obedience to follow wherever he is leading and however it looks, is going to leave you face down as his Shekinah glory manifests. There is a face-down wave coming that will catapult the people of God into deeper realms of revelation of His holiness and majesty and will bring down the self-exaltation of man. His glory and majesty being revealed, major moves of His Spirit revealing His holiness, is going to burst forth in some of the most unexpected places. Stories of major revival, places that will host His glory, and an unprecedented move of his spirit not seen before with the most glorious signs, wonders and miracles, will be seen in some of the most humble places. Major moves of the Spirit of God are going to be hosted in some of the most unexpected and humble places. The Lord is going to release his heart in such a weighty way to those who are crying out, laid down at his feet, face down in wonder of him, groaning for Jesus alone, the heart of God, and some of the greatest moves of his spirit will be entrusted to these ones. It's not a checklist to get everything right to host a move of his spirit, each one of us are invited, but those who will host his weighty glory are those who are laid down, in love with Jesus, hungry for him, and without selfish ambition or agenda. Many ways and places he will move and reveal himself will cause offense where there is pride, where there is selfish ambition or agenda. Jesus will no longer allow boxes to try to contain him. He is breaking those boxes. Some of the greatest moves of his spirit will come out of places that have been labeled with the question, as Nazareth was, can anything good come out of Nazareth? John 1 46. There is a weightier call in the spirit right now to be all in. The level of acceleration of the move of his spirit that is beginning to manifest is weightier than we realize. The miraculous provision, 
favor and increase as you follow in his way, will be like nothing you have ever seen. As you follow in the footsteps of Jesus, the ways he is leading you, you are entering into the greatest day of seeing his miraculous provision, favor and increase that you have ever seen. Is that a big statement? Absolutely. But it is what I heard the Father say. The radical obedience of his people will be the landing place for the most explosive moves of his spirit, miraculous provision, favor and increase. The harvest of souls, the miraculous ways that God will make a way, where there seems no way, will astound you. What you are going to see God do through your obedience in this hour will leave you face down in awe and wonder of our glorious King. This move of His Spirit upon us will reveal Jesus as King. His Majesty and Holiness Revealed There may be challenges and wrestles with fear etc. in the obedience, but there is nothing to fear, for He is with you. He has gone before you and He goes with you. You have been prepared for such a time as this. Your faithfulness to Him at all cost moves His heart. I champion you all in friend of God, as you obey in his leading and his way and move into your greatest day with him.